use the dirty van. We're getting ready for a garage conversion tomorrow as we've been let down on site again. S scaffold wasn't up to the job was it? Yeah. Yeah, so we're at home again. This is a good little quick one. Just to, for those people who worry about the security on the van, it's got a Neil had them fitted when he owned it. So we're back. That's the cash flow door secured. So we're getting rid of a garage conversion tomorrow, just in case the scaffold's not ready. So we've got a here. Our insulation. Course. and the already in the van with the ties and the vents etc it's a easy issue on tomorrow we're only two that one side and the top three courses are going to be soldier bricks so they're not too thin either so there's not a lot to them to do but anyway this video is about this our new additions in that's pretty much exactly the same as Charlie Collison uses. So, like a compartment to pouch in like a hammer hook. But we got a, we don't like where the hammer hangs and we hit the slides on and off doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's on a clip. And your actual belt, you don't have to slide it onto the belt. And the belts are the same make as these for the plano aren't they? But they've got the, the brand name on them. No the Stanley's aren't they? No the Stanley's the, the pouch. The belts are the same make as the plano. Alright. Oh, yeah we've got these from berries. And then this this thing here is a tool it's a power tool to put your drills in what we thought will look at that perfect for the car and we didn't actually buy them for that reason so I'll actually show you what we how we wound up them looking here we've got a uh, these are neodymium magnets which are ridiculously strong this one here is for um, when we drop stuff down the cavity like uh, levels and stuff we're going to um, put little metal plates onto our corner blocks as well but this one here we thought it was bigger than this what, it was, we originally got it to put in there one of those little pouches in there there's a pouch inside the pouch yeah so there's a pocket there so that's why we bought it originally yeah, as we, as we were saying, I've got the magnets for that, but there's nothing on with that. I mean, we might get sick of it eventually, but um, I, don't that. I think the whole belt was probably 20 25 pounds for everything. Yeah. We took the uh, power tool thing and the hook. Yeah, accessory, whatever you call it, and the belt. Um, mine's slightly different, isn't it? The, uh, yeah, my belt's slightly different. We got this. I think it's Plano or Plano. I just remember it was a uh, fish and tackle stuff, but uh, tool accessories. So I just got the quick, the quick snap on one. Just a bit easier. Apart from that, all my stuff's the same. I suppose that yeah, even for a, a narrow London pattern trail, would be fine. That other fifty has a. Philly pattern, but it's just a job. Like I say, you can always put a magnet in there. We were going to stick a big magnet inside, in here. but uh, yeah, just a job. Where's the magnet off? Is it still in your pouch? Back in the van. All right. Yeah, we, we ordered those magnets, but they only came little tiny things. We could do like something about this big, and you could um, 
you could always say uh, aerodite it or something inside that pouch you know about this big a bit bigger flat magnet and it do the job then yeah that's all the way around it so we're still getting used to them we haven't worn them that often while we've been working on this garage we haven't really worn them because the uh, scaffold's really tight isn't it yeah you've got you just be tripping over it and banging into things but we're definitely going to be using them more we wish we got them got them sooner so that's us a little quick video for everybody yeah so see you in the next one geared up for our job today and our tackle sand's already here bricks already loaded out and this is it garage conversion which is already more or less done inside ready for plastering inside I think it's getting the first fix electrics today and we're at this job where we did the porch those who watched all our videos will recognise this porch still not had its step or flagging done yet so anyway that's all the job so first things first get this heavy door out 
which is going to be hard. It's not like these modern doors that just have three, six bolts. It's going to be big heavy. It's like 6b2 or 5b2. Big screws, hopefully they'll come out okay. But it's a heavy door, it's like a fiberglass. Yeah, so once that's out we can get cracking because we're all set up, ready to go. Okay. Anyway, there we go. Trace the bond through, works brick. But there is a three quarter in this pillar. But it works but works brick with the three quarter left in, so we're not gonna take that out. Which is good really, because we'd have had to take it back to here. There's two three quarters in the whole pillar. A bit weird, but there it is. Yeah, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven halves to take out because we've got soldiers follow through at the top. So obviously it doesn't need two now where the soldiers are going. Yeah, so we'll go back to time lapse now and get this grinding done. Right, as usual, it wouldn't be our job without a speed bump in it. Here's the speed bump. 
I was chiseling out here for the two then and went down into this and it was only thin so basically there's nothing across here and there's two options here we can dig it all up and go down to at least 600 and put concrete footing in to start again but one we haven't got the room and two we have another option we're going to break up this concrete as you can see it's still quite thick at this end and then we're going to bust into that wall there and we're going to put an angle iron across into this course so the angle iron isn't seen so basically we've got to break up here about 150mm strip the back the concrete's like it gets, it gets thicker and thicker so the concrete's at least 100mm and all this is is thermalite block so we're just going to build on top of this concrete but this leading edge is thin so I'm on the old battered Titan and Alex is on the don't know how you pronounce it. So let's have a look. I Einhill. I think so. Einhill, yeah. Got that for Christmas. So Alex is giving that one a go. And we're gonna work from each end, meet in the middle, and then I've just rang up forwards down the road and they've got a 2.4 angle iron in stock. So we can carry on. So speed bump averted. We'll crack on. Right, so I've been to Fairwoods. There's our lintel. 2.4. That'll do the job. I'm currently geared up for... We've just got to cut. Calm that back to get the brick working. We've done all the concrete now between us with the two breakers. So, there we go. Got our little, our little groove cut out. So our lintel is going to sit on there, onto the pillar, and then have to get out there, for it to sit going to the wall. So once we're down far enough, we'll put a bit of sand and cement down just to just to support the lintel while we build on top of it. I've just got to run across here now, this tarmac, to get us a nice straight edge and we can get the brickwork down. Yeah, as I was saying before the battery ran out, batteries are running quick because it's cold today. Yeah, there's our line. There's our facework line, which was plumbed down from facework at the top of the vehicle, so it can lines up. I'll have to rage on again now, please. Oh, sorry? I'll have to rage on again, please. Here we go, quarter to twelve. Finally got the power tools put away. There's our lintel. Quite an upstand on that rascal. I think I've cut enough out, might have cut a little bit more, just get it in. There's our seating. And then it's gonna drop down into this little trench, a few beds and water underneath it, onto this pillar. That's our lintel hidden away then. And then um weird because damp course is there which is almost level with that concrete floor and there and yet when you follow this round the porch damps a lot higher so we're going to put a damp in at that level and we're going to put another one in at this level which is floor level in the house so we're going to put two in and that's where our cavity tray will come to into that, onto that damp second damp couple of airbricks into a vent underneath that floor and that's it it's probably about 12 o'clock now so we're gonna have some dinner we're all loaded out ready to go we've just got to try and get this lintel in here's all our ties and then that block which is going to sit on the into that plinth yeah that's it go have some lunch
You're going to replace it, aren't you?
it's half past two. That uh, Lindsay business really put us out. You can see a uh, little bit where it drops below. That's where it's on the lintel. You can't see the lintel now because the cavity tray's in. So that's our tray installed. Up stand at each end. Vertical damper at each end because it's a solid pillar. Same with the vertical damp. Uh, Alex is just getting the block work done. And he's going to tidy inside there and come out through the pedestrian door and lock it up. Uh, I'm just going to carry on the face work. See if there are air bricks in or our vents every two brick. So one, two, three, four, five, six vents. I'll give a close up for the people who don't believe us. Six, and then have soldiers to finish off, and then the sill's going to match the porch coming round. So half two. So hopefully we're done for half four. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Famous last words, but it's all straightforward now. All the fighting about fighting about's been done. Let's just get it in and get it finished. Get tidied up. Yeah. So once this mix is done, we can crack on.
and the time is your phone's upside down oh yeah <laughs> try that again five past four yeah, it's not bad I thought it was later than that yeah we're done Alex is just finishing the joint in cracking match made up with the match it's actually the, the porch brick a bit more rusticated but the extension that we're toothed into the bang on absolutely perfect so when that's all dry it's going to look smart and then the window line's going to follow through I think the wind's going in tomorrow tomorrow night yeah but that's it took longer than I thought but like I said we had the uh, the problem with the lintel and no nothing to build over so that's sorted luckily built Ferds is only a mile from here so here's the mess that we've got to tidy up now let's see how long this takes us so we'll get it time lapse and see, where, see how it looks That's it, that complements the porch nicely. All wraps around now, all coming around the same height. I think the wind might be going in tomorrow. Today's Wednesday, and I'm not sure the plastering's getting done at the weekend as you've seen. Oh, that's just gone in now. A good size garage, that. Good size room. Yeah, that's it. So if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a like and give us a subscribe let's get them subscriber numbers up they're going up awful slow we could do with a boost so that's it thanks for watching